got it. He's got it. There we go. Man, these crickets are just getting annihilated. Hoo, 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 hoo. Man, there have been some giants on this bridge today. What's going on, y'all? We are headed back out to the bridge right there on the Hobie Pro Angler. And today, we got a pretty cool episode planned for y'all. We're gonna go out here, go sheep's head fishing, but I got a surprise bait that I personally have never used before, but I feel like it's gonna do really well for catching these sheep's head. But yeah, we're gonna get out here, see if we can find them. Okay, so check it out. We have in this cage right here, we got five dozen fiddler crabs. And then over here, we have several dozen crickets. So I have never seen anybody use crickets for sheep's head. I've never used crickets for sheep's head, but in my opinion, a cricket looks like a crab. They're significantly more cheaper than crabs and always available no matter what time of the year. So we're gonna get in here and we're gonna see, will the crickets catch sheep's head? I am gonna start off throwing the crabs. We have had warmer weather. I'm just gonna drop two or three crabs down. Once we can locate some sheep's head and know that there are definitely some feeding fish in the area, that's when we'll swap over and we'll test the crickets. First drop going in. See what happens. There he is. He's on it. He's on it. Let me get out of danger right here. I'm wrapped around a pylon. Oh, dang it. Did he get my bait? He did. Missed one. Little trick now. If you get bit on a pylon, go back to the same exact spot on that pylon where you got bit. Chances are that sheep's head is looking for another crab to come down. He will hit again. As long as we don't put a hook in him, if he keeps stealing our bait, he's gonna keep biting. Yep, he's got it, that's a sheep's head. Pulling on it, there he goes. Doesn't feel like a big fish. Be a sheep's head, give me a sign of life. It is a sheep's head. All right, well there are sheeps in the area. Good deal, let's go. First sheep's head of the day on a crab. Catch two more of these on crabs. We're gonna start dropping our crickets down. All right, y'all check that girl out right there. Not a giant, but still a super fun fish to catch. These guys are just awesome. There's a special place in my heart for sheep's head fishing. It is a ton of fun getting around these bridges, dropping down some bait and picking up some fish. We'll go ahead and let this guy go. See if we can't find us two more on the crabs. So right now, the water is extremely dirty. We've had heavy winds in the area. And uh, so it's pretty, pretty muddy. And we also got a very strong incoming tide. In my opinion, the best time to go sheep's head fishing is right after the tides kind of slack off a little bit because what happens is that current causes those sheep's head to get real tight up around the current breaks and other areas, which is good once you find them stacked up. I think we're on, we're on. No, we're on. But anyways, um, if you can find them, you can stay on them. But when that tide slacks off, those sheep's head get to where they're circling the pylons a little bit more. And, um, you know, like I'm dropping this, this crab right now, my line's running backwards. It's just not natural for that crab to be sitting in one spot. Uh, when that current is just ripping like that. Those fish would expect that crab to kind of get swept around in a current break, which might make more sense for me to drop it behind a pylon. But I've been getting my bites kind of on the side. So that's kind of the deal. I, I would expect the bite to pick up when this tide slacks off just a little bit. There he is, he swam up with it. There he goes. That feels like it's a decent fish. Come here. Yep, good sheep's head. Good one. Gotta get out of the pile of Nate. Oh, hoo -hoo. she's got some good digs. She's got some good digs. Get her around on my net side. There we go. That, that right there is a 20 incher for sure. Gotta get her in the net though. Boom, y'all look at that doggone fish. Holy cow, what a fish. 
Y'all check that fish out right there. Stud of a fish, about to pop her on this measuring board. See what she goes. <laughs> 20 and three quarters, just a stud of a fish, man. If you're only gonna catch a few, well, that's one of them to catch for sure. I am fishing the Convict Classic right now, which calls for sheep's head. And uh, so we're gonna take some pictures of this guy and let her go. All right, well, that was a heck of a fish. We're gonna dive back in here one more. We can find one more sheep's head. We'll swap over to the crickets. See if we can't get us another 20 inch. Oh, mm, he swam up and got that one. That's a good fish. Oh my God. Oh ho, ho, no. Woo, 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 woo. She's burning on me. Oh, get, get you out of the way. I don't think that's a sheep's head. If it is, it's a giant. That's a heavy, heavy fish. Oh, she's just staying there. Oh, come up. Come up. Dude, I got a feeling we hooked a big old black drum. Whew. And that's a small, small hook too. Definitely not the right hook for these black drum. Don't go back to the bridge. Don't go back to the bridge. Simmer, simmer. I mean, it's just like dead weight right there. This has gotta be a giant black drum. Definitely not gonna be a sheep's head. Could be a bull red. There are bull reds out here, which was crazy because I felt like I was hung up on that bridge. I was feeling some clicking. I reeled it up a little bit and it came up and just nailed it. Yep, he's going back to the bridge. Come on, come on, Nate. Bring him out, come on. Give up, give up, give up. No, 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 no. Give up. I'm driving backwards. Got the kayak put in reverse, just trying to pull him as far away from the bridge as I can. My line is in decent shape, I feel like, but that hook, that hook is suspect for real. There it went, bang, golly. Well, all righty then. I guess now would be just about as good enough time to talk about my setup as any. Uh, so I am running a pin battle two rod and reel combo. They have since upgraded these. I've had it forever. These are awesome live bait setups. They're not expensive, about 130 bucks. They last forever. Uh, you don't need anything crazy expensive out here fishing with live bait, especially around these bridges. Uh, but I am running 15 pound suffix 832 to 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. I have two uh, number two split shot weights on and then I have a number one gamakatsu octopus hook and we're just taking that fiddler crab, sticking the hook right there through the side, kind of towards the back, dropping around the pylons and that's what these fish are eating. There he is, there he is. Come on up here, dude. Oh, that's a decent feeling fish. Yeah, just had a big splash too. Oh yeah, good sheep's head. Good sheep's head. Oh, hoo, hoo. good digs. Good digs. Let's go. Yep, solid, solid fish. I think that's another one over 20 inches, y'all. Holy cow, these fish are big. All right, well, <laughs> looks like we're gonna be moving on to some crickets now. Take a look at that fish right there. Sheep's head number three, I've had several black drum on the morning. I mean, there's not many down there. I have fished for about an hour and a half now and I'm not getting a whole lot of bites, but the bites that I'm getting are just quality bites. 
and this is another 21 inch fish right here holy cow let me get some good pictures of this one on the board and i'm gonna get a release on her all right good release all right so we are getting ready to move on to the crickets but y'all check it out if y'all like this type of content where i'm doing stuff like this using random stuff to catch these fish like crickets y'all hit that like button uh get this video to 900 likes if this video gets to 900 likes i will come out here and use bait you have never seen before to catch these fish but without further ado let's put on a cricket and see what happens i have no clue what's going to happen hopefully we catch some fish i got a feeling in theory this bait should definitely work. They look like crabs. I'll talk more about that later on. Let's tie one on and drop it down and see what happens. All right, so we got our can of crickets right here. I want to say we got 50 of these jokers for about five bucks. So really, really cheap. See if we can get a cricket to come out of that hole right there. If not, we'll just open up the lid on it. There. I think they're supposed to just crawl out, right? There we go. So fiddler crabs are $5 a dozen right now. And these crickets are $5 for 50. So, you know, you put that joker on right there. It looks like it could be a small crab, but there's also all these bugs and roaches and things like that that crawl around these pylons all the time. And I guarantee you the sheep's head are down there eating those bugs just like they do crabs. And to be honest with you, like fiddler crabs ain't hanging around these bridges. You know, they, do they eat fiddler crabs? Yes. But I ain't never seen fiddler crabs on the side of a bridge, but I have seen a ton of bugs and little roach-like creatures that that looks like. So I don't see how this doesn't work. First drop going down, see what happens. Oh, we're on. Unless that was the side of the pile and I could have, yeah. That's a fish. We just had a sheep's head bite it. 100% that was a bite. Oh, he's got it. Come on, eat it, dude. Got slack in my line. He bit it. Took my bait. Going back in. Yep, he's got it. Oh! Missed another one. Well, if that doesn't confirm it right there, he was definitely down there eating on it. All right, so we've missed a ton of fish. I went ahead and stacked two crickets on one hook. Let's see if that changes some things. Maybe we can hook up on one of these fish. Mm, he's on. There we go. That's a big one. Oh my goodness, that's a stud. Oh, no. Dang it, man. Oh, oh my goodness that was a giant y'all oh my goodness all right let's rig back up all right let's get back in there and try that again maybe we can land one this time oh there he is there he is come on there come on eat it y'all they are all over these crickets gotta let them eat gotta let them eat there he is biggin biggin another stud loosen that drag up mate loosen the drag up he is staying down what do we got oh my god what a fish oh all right loosen the drag oh oh my god i don't think this is gonna be a sheep's head all right drive backwards come here Come here, dude. We gotta land this one. Got to land this fish. Cannot have any more line breakages. Loosen that drag up a little bit. We're not really in any danger right here. That is such a heavy fish. Oh yeah, big doggone fish. Just drive backwards. 
Wow. Dang it! Bad word. Me, man. Beep. <sighs> well, y'all, you know, we lost another fish to the crickets. All right, well, we are rigged back up after getting broke off. Oh, one of my crickets jumped off. Come here, dude. There we go. Drop back down. Hopefully we can hook up with whatever broke us off. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that fish is long gone. But maybe we can maybe we can show y'all fish today. Oh, there he is. Got it. Y'all, they are on top of these crickets. You let them eat it. Let them eat it. There he goes. There he goes. Get out of there. We're not losing this one. We're not losing this one. Come here. That's a good fish. Come here. That's a big sheep. Yes. Yes. On the cricket. At least we got to see this one. Let's go. All right. Get in the net. Get in the net. Yes. Boom. <laughs> All right. Man. All those missed opportunities. We finally landed one. Oh, just had to let him eat. Thought he was going to get me up in that bridge. Well, there you have it. Crickets do catch sheep's head. And good ones. Not going to lie. It has been a very tough day out here today. Y'all can see this wind kicked up the way it is. Got some storms of brewing. Dirty water. Heavy current. Hard to maintain boat position. But the fish. They're still here. And we really wanted to test the theory. Of whether or not they will eat crickets. And I'm going to say yeah. You know we, we can pretty much assumed that we had a black drum on that broke us off earlier i think we had a, another really good sheep's head that broke us off and um we finally did land us one put you on the old measuring board real quick i'm gonna say somewhere around 18 or so yeah about 18 and a quarter i'll be dang Gotta love it when a plan comes together. All right, girl. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. All right, we're read back up. Let's drop down right there, see if we can find us another sheep's head. Oh, he's on. Come on. Come back and hit it again. Yep, he's got it. He's got it. There we go. Mm. That's a giant. That's a giant. I can't get them up. Man, these crickets are just getting annihilated. All right, let's loosen the drag. Well, I can't loosen the drag. We're too close to the bridge. Come on. Uh, come on. Uh-uh. Boy, he's pumping on me. He is pumping on me. Just don't break. I'm loosen up a little bit now, I think. I mean, he's one good run away from getting me off in that bridge. This has happened a whole bunch today, y'all. We've hooked a lot of fish the same kind of way. And they just keep on getting, breaking me off. So, let's see if we can, we can land this one. Come on up. Come on up. This guy's gonna have a lot more runs. I am about to say, he, he's, it's a heavy fish and he's hardly fought at all. You know, it, and it bit just like a sheep's head, but it's gotta be a black drum. It has gotta be a black drum. Just don't let that hook pull. Come on, tire her out. Hoo, 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 hoo. Man, there have been some giants on this bridge today. 
Come on. I mean, I, I expected to catch some sheep's head with these crickets, but I mean, I didn't expect these runs and break offs the way I've had. I don't know if I got them all on camera, but I've been broke off so many times with these crickets. Sadly enough, we've only landed one fish on them, but we have hooked a bunch. That's on me. I'm just not fishing clean today. This is such a heavy fish right here. Don't do nothing stupid to lose it, Nate. I mean, he's heavy. He's just holding down right now. We gotta get him to come up. Come on. Come on. You got it. Show yourself one time. I think he's close to coming up to the surface. It's been a heck of a day, y'all. Y'all see how much the wind has built up. We've been at it for a pretty good little bit today. The bite has not been on fire at all, and we've expected that because, you know, we're in shorts and flip-flops, and sheep's head, they, they migrate inshore in the, uh, in the colder months, and then as soon as we start to get some warmer water temperatures, they start to head offshore, so we're starting to see these areas thinning out this might be one of our last trips for the year i cannot get this fish up come on come on come on come on come up come up i see my leader big old black drum and he's taking off again and this guy smoked a cricket that is the most insane thing. And look, sheep's head have incredible smelling and they also have incredible eyesight. Sheep's head have impeccable eyesight. Black drum are pretty much scent alone. They're blind as a bat. They can't see anything. So this guy smelled that cricket. He smelled the cricket and went and ate it. Unless I just somehow dropped it right in front of his face. This is a giant fish. Get my grips ready. Let's not lose them. What a beast. What a beast. Come here. Come up. Come up and stay up. We got you this close. We don't need to lose you now. Come here. Come here. Boy, they don't call these things big uglies for nothing. Ugh. Uh, you done? Are you done? Come on, we're just gonna grip you right quick, get us a picture, and we'll call it good. We'll let you go. Got him. Oh, Y'all, look at that fish right there. Just an incredible, incredible bite. We'll go ahead and put her back in the water now. Try to get a good release on her. Oh, try not to keep them out the water too, too long. Get some good swallows. It's a big fish and we tired her out pretty good. On you, girl. All right, what an incredible day out here, y'all. So, my final thoughts. Without a shadow of a doubt, the crickets catch saltwater fish. It is incredible. I missed so many sheep's head. It wasn't even funny. I started packing two or three crickets on those hooks. My hookup ratio got better, and then I started getting broke off. So, just crazy. Um, Fiddler crabs are $5 a dozen. So, you know, for five dozen, you're looking at 25 bucks or so. I got 50 crickets for $5. All these fish were eating them. It was really incredible. I hope y'all enjoy this type of content. If y'all do, leave me a like, comment with any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.